welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with a palette that has been sitting in my collection for quite some time. I picked these up when they first launched and did a swatch party video and then it kind of just sat there. I'm talking about the Exotic Peacock palette from Pinky Rose. This was a set of three and I just never used them so I was doing my eyeshadow palette collection video and I was like you know what it's time to test this baby out put it on my eyes I don't think this was the first time I've actually actually used this palette but this was the first time I like sat down and actually attempted to do a full eye look with it so if you guys are curious to see how this palette worked out and how I achieved this look then just keep watching Okay guys, so I just finished filming my eyeshadow palette collection video and while I was going through it, I realized I've never actually played with this palette on my channel. So I bought it, I did a swatch party video with all three of these palettes and I don't know, I wasn't in love with the formula, but I thought, you know, I haven't actually tried the whole palette on my eyes, so it's kind of a older palette uh, for YouTube, but this is the Exotic Peacock by Pinky Rose. I believe these launched this year, I don't remember. And then I was like, you know what? I need a really good sticky base. And I was gonna ask the question on my Instagram, and then I realized somebody recommended this NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer to me, um, I think last year. And I was like obsessed with it, and it worked really great. And then I stopped using it, and I don't remember why. Like what happened? Did I forget about it? I even have a backup of this primer somewhere in my collection back there. So I was like, God, I gotta bring it back. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use this primer that has been always like super sticky for me and try it with this Pinky Rose palette. So I'm excited. Um, and this is so right up my alley right now. So usually I go into my crease with a really fluffy blending brush and just put one shade all over the crease. But today I'm grabbing my Wayne Goss number 20. This is a smaller buffing brush it feels like. And I wanna go into the shade Risqué and kind of put that in the inner crease, <laughs> if that's even like a term. <laughs> but I wanna see what kind of pigmentation and color payoff I can get from this. Cause I think this formula is more of a packing formula and I'm not very good at packing eyeshadow on, so I think the trick for me is going to be smaller brushes and a sticky base. <laughs> this is a pretty color. It's like a yellow-green almost. Like a green that has a lot of yellow in it, uh, but also could be like a mustard. I don't know how to describe it. It's blending pretty good. I can see it, can you guys see it on camera? Can you let me know? Oh shit, I just blended it into my brow. Now my brow's green. I need to get my brows down by the way. So I walked in to the nail salon cause I really thought they did my brows pretty well last time. And they charge what like the hair salon does. So I was gonna have them do it. But then by the time I got my nails done, I was like short on time so I couldn't get my um, brows done. Okay, I'm kind of debating between sultry and discreet in the outer part. I feel like I've been doing so many blue looks, I'm gonna go in with sultry. And I just kind of want to blend that into the outer half. So I basically split my crease into two halves. And I thought green on the first half and purple on the other half. So you guys, fun fact, I didn't go to high school in America. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. And then yesterday, my husband's dad's best friend moved here and he has a junior in high school and it was his junior prom. So we went to watch his grand march and that was really fun um, to just kind of see all the kids all dressed up in their little outfits, like living their moment, like homecoming royalty and stuff. I definitely didn't experience that as a teenager. So it was fun to see and yeah, 
some girls had really pretty dresses and you know they're all like skinny little minis because they're high schoolers and um some of them had really beautiful kind of um almost like oscar worthy dresses i would say like some were like super well fitted and like you know so it's interesting to see the styles i don't know i'm into that kind of thing so i just wanted to tell you guys about that okay so i got the two shades i think the sticky base is definitely helping me um so that's good i kind of want to put something in my brow bone just to clean up the color a little bit I think I'm just gonna grab this Viseart palette and just this Sonia G brush and just correct that because I put a little bit of green accidentally right here but my brows are so hairy it's a heated mess up here it is a heated mess wow they look really freaking green oh well <clears throat> okay you can't really see my how hairy my brows are or like how overgrown they are but like when I edit I'm like oh god so I apologize in advance to you guys for being such a hopeless beauty guru. <laughs> okay, I want to build the purple up just all the way. Oh God, how did I get green on my forehead? So funny because I sometimes people comment on like how big my eyes are and I'm like, no, they're not. But I have really deep set eyes, I think. That's why people think they're so big. I'm like, they're not big, I promise you. Okay, the ends here are like overly dramatic, but I'll fix that later. I kind of feel like I should put in a third shade. Maybe I'll go in with Lustful just to deepen out the outer corner. See, now I feel like I'm losing the purple. Nope, I screwed it up. I'm gonna stop before I mess anything else up. And then I think, okay, so I wanna do this shade in my lid and it's called Proactive and it's like a very bright green, but I kinda wanna use glitter glue and I've been using these little guys for glitter glue just cause it um, is easier than cleaning a brush after the fact. So I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. And I got uh, the Too Faced glitter glue and I just spread it on my lid with this thing and then I use the other side and pick up some of the shadow and I just stamp it on and it sticks really nicely to the glitter glue from Too Faced. So anytime I'm working with like a shimmer that isn't like super Oily, the easiest way to do it for me is to just use a glitter glue. So that's how that turned out. I love how the green showed up, but the mats uh, were a struggle. I'm gonna try and salvage it when I put foundation on, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So I'm gonna do the other eye now. So again, I just put some Too Faced glitter glue on and just kind of swipe it on with the little one side. And then I use the green side. Okay, so that's as good as it's gonna get for the um, shimmer shade and I'm just, okay, so I just went in with sultry and just kind of tried to make it a little bit more um, bright there because I feel like I lost the shade a little bit. And then I've seen some people do this trick and I, and I think it's such a good one for eyeshadow just to like make it look more blended. They take some glitter glue and they just like stick it on the 
part where the crease meets the lid. And I swear that like instantly makes any like messed up eye look a hundred times more put together. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do like my foundation and everything else and I will come back and show you the finished look. Okay guys, here is what the final look turned out like and Oh my gosh, it was kind of a struggle bus with this palette. I love the idea of this palette, but this formula is just not my makeup vibes. And that's okay, that's why I have a review channel and a beauty channel here on YouTube because I love trying new things and seeing if they work for me. I do love the lid shade. I love greens, you guys know I'm obsessed with them. So it definitely makes me want to keep seeing if I can make this palette work um, in the future. So I will keep you guys posted. If not, I have a feeling I might declutter um, these palettes from my collection just because I don't love, love the formula. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried these Pinky Rose palettes before? If you have, leave me a comment down below. I'm dying to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching this and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.